to our hotel there. We're just having breakfast here. In a little restaurant just uh, across the street. Just noticed next door they do uh, employ people do massages. Uh, idea. Okay, so the bikes are loaded. Again, uh, just leaving the hotel here, Royal Hotel here in Batambang. That was a nice place for cyclists. Jamie's just made lots of new friends again. Yes. Getting lots of friends now around the world. So, uh, yeah, today we are cycling to a town called Palin. It's very close to the border of Thailand. So today may be a long day. It's about 95 kilometers and slightly uphill. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. Should be a nice ride. So, uh, are you ready to go? Yes. Okay, let's go. I'm going to uh, get the bread today, so this is the bakery for today. So, we started by taking some of the back roads again. We'll see if we can do that all day, it depends on how much time we have. Uh, Got the road services. The road starts a little bit like where we finished yesterday. Very beautiful road here with the river on our left. Let's see if I can catch a glimpse of it. One thing I noticed cycling through Cambodia is just how young and fresh and happy the people are looking, especially the young people. This is a country with a lot of young people uh, It's not like uh, Greece where you only see a lot of old people sitting in coffee shops It's young people It's uh, amazing when you think what this country has gone through 30 to 50 years ago Just to see the way they're bouncing back now And uh, looks like they have a great future ahead of them On the main or highway here goes to Palin. It's a much better road than the one yesterday. But the road works here, there's a nice space for cyclists again and not really much traffic. That's nice. Some beautiful houses and villages We're going through here. Really beautiful road to cycle on. place for today and we are eating picnic today we are going to have a picnic here 
chips and some water and some pizza in the bakery we get in the morning and two muffins that is the lunch for today i want to buy the bananas but the lady here said i don't need i don't need to pay so that was just excellent but i also want to try to give them money but they don't want they accept no money <laughs> So this is our final day now cycling in Cambodia, so uh, didn't really know what to expect really with Cambodia. I read uh, on the internet that this was the wild west of Southeast Asia, but in reality it's been uh, yeah, a very easy country to cycle through. We stayed of course, uh, yeah, if we stay on the main roads it's a very easy country to cycle through. We went uh, sometimes on some of the back roads which makes it a bit more interesting but uh, but if you stay on the main road it's a very easy place to cycle. to find uh, uh, hotels everywhere and uh, restaurants just about everywhere water wherever we need it so it's no real challenge really it's just a, a nice country to cycle through and, and lots uh, to look at on the side of the road the houses they're living in are extremely interesting to see the way they're living and uh, what do things cost here yeah some uh, the hotels we've stayed in in the um, out in the countryside they cost you anything between five ten dollars a night uh, when we get into the cities cm reap and uh, panon family you're talking about 25 30 dollars per night so we've stayed in some nice places so uh, and the food is uh yeah in the countryside about five dollars for a lunch and uh in the main streets like pub street we'll probably pay twenty dollars for a, a dinner for me and jamie so in general cambodia has been a good experience we've uh made new friends here most of the places we've been people are very friendly and talk to us so uh, we've got some new cambodian friends now that's yeah, good that is excellent perfect oh. uh, final cycle ride of afternoon cycling in cambodia the scenery is changing a little bit now all hilly and hills on the side of the road now Very beautiful part of the country. Really. Hello. So when you're carrying a lots of logs and you have a puncture, you can change the wheel. What do you use? Just a few logs. Many small voices we hear shouting hello out of these. Hello, out of these houses recycled by. Landmines here, now being cleared. This area where we are now, towards the border and along the border, this is where a lot of landmines they were positioned. And of course now a lot of them being cleared and of course not uh, dangerous for us as long as we stay on the road and uh, don't get venturing off into any forest or fields here. The Cambodia starts to get a different look now. The flat uh, plains of the Mekong are gone. Uh, the flat plains of the Mekong, they're huge. The Mekong that gets its uh, source from the Himalayas, so there's just vast quantities of water that flood the whole area. But, uh, most of Cambodia we've ridden on that was uh, very flat. But now it's getting quite hilly now. So, different kind of scenery now. See how Cambodia is changing from this kind of thing we see everywhere to modern coffee shop. Just have the opening day here. I just noticed it's all brand new. We'll see if we can get a quick green tea proper and then back on the bikes.
very strange to be climbing hills again. I've never done that in Southeast Asia. Everywhere has been completely flat. easy to spot a hotel, it's a big green thing there. It should be a nice new hotel. <laughs> so we just gave up on the green hotel there. $35 they wanted for a room there without breakfast, so that's too much for touring cyclists. Then we turned up in this place here, $6 for a room with a fan. That's more like it. And they're leaving alone, parking for dusty bikes here, near the reception. There we have a... Hello. Wow. Rooftop view. Is this a room here? So this will be our final room, final hotel, Cambodia. And this is what you get for six dollars for fun. We can live with that. It's a little bit more interesting and adventurous when you get off the beaten track of tourists. Here there's no tourists at all, but uh, in the end we just been to a few places, managed to get something to eat here in this place. Actually the guy from the hotel just turned up <laughs> so he could translate for us and uh, managed to get us some rice and some vegetables I think. So oh, that's good. He's a very friendly guy. So you have a lot of street food here as well. We've also been looking at this as well. Uh, yeah, interesting place here. just eating and this is the food for today and the one guy the help is is, is that one that in the back of the camera now yeah. the guy from our hotel recommended the soup here so we'll give that a try as well hungry cyclists we can eat everything Was the end of our final day here in Cambodia. It also marks the uh, the end of a three-day water festival that they've been celebrating here. We've seen a lot of activity in the towns the last few days. It's because it's a it's called a water festival. It's the day when the the main river through Cambodia, the Tonle Sap, it changes direction and uh, marks the end of the rainy season. So that's uh, why there's been so much activity and uh, high music we've been listening to the last few days. Tomorrow we're on the bikes again, uh, crossing the border to Thailand, so 18 kilometers from here to the border. And then we have uh, some small roads to cycle on until we get onto another road that takes us down to a place called Chantaburi. And that's the town we're staying tomorrow. It's about 90 kilometers from here. So, okay. That was it for today. We'll see you tomorrow on the road to Thailand.